Traveller Art 1,500 pounds after pub would not serve him because of discrimination. Michael McDonough, 28, was refused a drink by Wendy Buck when he went into the Pegasus pub and filmed himself asking her for an explanation. He can be heard explaining he had been to the pub hundreds of times before and claimed he had never caused any problems. Mrs. Buck claimed she barred him because she thought he had been involved in a fight at the Bristol pub 15 months earlier and not because he was a traveler. But at the end of the conversation he asked her, are you saying you're not allowing travelers in this pub? And she replied, we're not allowing travelers in this pub. The traveler community is protected under the Equality Act 2010 and McDonough said refusing to serve him based was discrimination. He took the case to Bristol Civil Court which has now ruled in his favor. It found that he was discriminated against directly by Mrs. Buck and vicariously by the company that owned the pub in Southmead, Bristol. The court added that there was no anti-travelers policy at the pub so there was no need for an injunction stopping it. Mrs. Buck was ordered to pay McDonough £1,500 damages within 21 days and £365 court costs. The three-minute altercation between the pair in November 2015 showed McDonough ask Mrs. Buck 18 times if he was being banned because he was traveler. Deputy District Judge Chris Whiteley said McDonough was persistent in raising it no fewer than 18 times. Clearly he was trying to get Mrs. Buck to agree with him. Mrs. Buck denies his being a traveler the reason, once directly and twice by implication. She admits it is the reason once, and the other 14 times she doesn't respond or is unclear. It didn't look to me like an attempt to get rid of Mr. McDonough, but rather to avoid dealing with what was primarily on her mind. Mr. McDonough was persistent, not unreasonably so, he was entitled to an explanation. He was persistent, but he was not aggressive or violent. Mrs. Buck claimed Mr. McDonough was being a persistent nuisance and she only agreed with him to make him go away as she felt threatened. But the judge said he found her answers were inconsistent. The judge said she failed to deny she was barring McDonough because he was a traveler a number of times. After the trial McDonough's lawyer Will Stone from the Avon and Bristol Law Center said, I'm happy. The fact that Mr. McDonough had to wait two years in this case is a shame, but he did get a result, and it shows that you shouldn't put up with discrimination.